Pakistan has called back its High Commissioner in Delhi after alleging that its diplomats were harassed in the capital. New Delhi has said India makes all efforts to provide a safe, secure and hospitable environment for diplomats to work in. Pakistan had earlier complained to the government that Pakistan's Deputy High Commissioner's car was chased and men hurled abuses at the driver in Delhi. Well, uh, the government has responded saying Indian diplomats in Islamabad have been facing tremendous harassment for long, particularly in the last year. But rather than flagging it in the media, Indian diplomats choose to tackle the matter with quiet and persistent diplomacy. India has also given uh, specific instances when its diplomats were harassed. On the 16th of February, the High Commissioner of India met the Foreign Secretary of Pakistan to lodge a strong protest against multiple acts of hooliganism against Indian properties and personnel, the Foreign Ministry said. Yustra joining us at this point uh, for more. Uh, Yustra, what are the details that you're getting at your end? Uh, at the moment, what we do know that Pakistan's High Commissioner to New Delhi, Sohail Mahmood, has been called back for consultations by Islamabad. The Indian High Commissioner, J.P. Singh, was summoned two days earlier by the Foreign Office, and a strong protest was launched with regard to the series of harassments that have been faced by Pakistan High Commission staffers in New Delhi. This was after footage and photographs surfaced of Pakistan High Commission officials being harassed in New Delhi. Pakistan says that this is a violation of the Vienna Convention and it is India's responsibility to ensure the safety and security of all Pakistani diplomats. Pakistan goes on to say that this is not an isolated in incident and the deliberate bullying continues unabated. All right, a very strong uh, response, of course, coming in, as we said, from the Indian government to that. India is saying that it has, in fact, uh, uh, suffered persistent uh, uh, harassment also, but uh, has always taken it up diplomatically. We spoke uh, and got several reactions on this story. Uh, first, uh, this interview with uh, former diplomat KC Singh. Well, this is an old story. You know, it's not normally, it's not this that affects the relations, but poor relations are reflected in how you deal with each other's diplomats. And it can often reach childish levels because then the security agencies on the two sides they get into a competition, a bit like those guys at Vaga, who can raise the knees higher and who can be more atrocious. Uh, uh, and, you know, then it's uh, the ones caught in the middle are the diplomats. The next level is you send a diplomat back, then you say somebody's caught spying. This is, there's a whole playbook according to which they operate and then they did, did for that from India. Uh, so I don't know whether we began it or they began it. But this is really has to end. Grown-ups have to step in. Uh, even if your relationship is not improving, certainly it's not, uh, you should not turn it into a public spectacle for the rest of the world to see. No, it doesn't help. And normally this is exacerbated, as I said, by the security agencies on the two sides. Now, the ones who don't want good relations with India, obviously the security chaps on the Pakistan side. So if they find there is some channel opening up or somebody is trying to normalize, uh, you know, they would always step in and try uh, testing you. Now, at that stage, you have one of two options. Uh, one is that you, you know, take it in that chain, you ignore it for a while. Uh, but that's not how India has been functioning. Under this government, you do a tit for tat. Or rather, you know, a bigger uh, sort of uh, reaction to what they are doing. And then it goes on an escalation better. Uh, it suits Pakistan because, you know, they, being the smaller country, they will go and show that, look, uh, you know, we are more sinned against than sinning. Uh, but then it's your allegation against theirs, and of course in today's world, uh, everyone has a camera, there's a camera everywhere. So things are, it's not, not any longer just verbal uh, uh, sort of allegations. But you get pictures, then the other side will say, you know, it's, it's all manipulated, and you know, it's the usual thing. It is very unfortunate that you see two uh, large population-wise countries of the world, uh, where a very big segment of the people are living, they are uh, having this Saas Bahuki relationship. This is most unfortunate. This is tragedy for the people of India, tragedy for the people of Pakistan. And I think this shows that how, no matter how educated or intellectually sound people are both uh, across both the borders, how low they can get uh, with each other. Now, harassment of diplomats should never happen, no matter uh, you know, uh, whatever the level of the relationship, because they are the, you know, the main uh, route for discussion. And advent of diplomats neither should happen in Pakistan, 
not should happen in India. This is a very low-level diplomacy, I think, which both countries should avoid. Should avoid. I think, yes, there are problems. There are problems even, uh, you know, with the uh, North uh, Korea and America. There are problems with China and America. There are problems with other countries. We have problems. But I think diplomatically, and at least, you see, when we meet each other, we should be remain within the bounds of, uh, you know, courtesy. I, I, I think this is a very low-level uh, harassment tactics uh, done by either side. I am not saying that uh, Pakistan uh, does not do it or India doesn't do it, but I say I condemn on both sides it should not happen. And we should seriously now, seriously, I think time has come when the world is progressing, we should seriously discuss our problems which are there, we cannot close our eyes.